in the United States, Black Mountain College, located just outside Asheville, educated some of the best minds of the 20th century. On this mountain mystery, we see how Black Mountain College students influenced the world. It began here, teachers and students challenging each other to think and create. People like composer John Cage, dancer Merce Cunningham, painter William D. Kooning. Architect Buckminster Fuller even designed his first geodesic dome here. The college was started by American teachers disenchanted with conventional education. European teachers fleeing Hitler's persecution found a home. Funded by intellectuals and philanthropists like the Forbes family, Einstein and Carl Jung even served as advisors. There were no grades, no tests, sometimes no tuition or salaries. Just learning for the joy of learning. Everything was intermeshed, the, the living and the working in the college, the upkeep of the college, the, the meals, the, the different arts, and it wasn't just an art school, they had, they had physics, they had languages. One of the first racially integrated colleges in the South, some locals were less than understanding of the eccentric nature of some intellectuals. Some even called Black Mountain Pink Mountain because they thought that the students might be communists. They were considered to be uh, free-loving homosexuals and communists and uh, they weren't at all accepted. So it may be because it was so isolated here that they were able to create such a community. After a 23-year run, funding dried up, and the school closed in 56. Mary Holden learned of the college while living in Paris. Ironically, her parents lived in Black Mountain at the time. Most people really don't know about Black Mountain College here. It's very famous in France and in Germany, and I even hear people in Japan talk about it, but around here, I don't think many people know about Black Mountain College, so that's what we're trying to do. Supporters are hoping to build a museum and an art center and a reunion of alumni brought back over a hundred. Most of the Black Mountain College former students uh, are in their 70s and 80s and it is critical that that we get all their documents and artwork and oral histories now before it's too late. In Black Mountain, North Carolina for Mountain Mysteries, Greg Wallace, New Center 5.